Is there anything that you would that comes to mind for you that in your research that mm -hmm. people really need to be bringing in in this environment right now, specifically where we're disconnected, working from home, different places, yeah. maybe even hybrid in some communities too? I think this is the time where empathy is key, right? What might work for you might not work for me. You could be going through a tough time. I might be doing great. Just because we're on the same team doesn't mean we're going to experience the same thing. So to me, empathy is paramount because if you can do that, everything else will fall into place. But you have to have that, that key power skill. So in that power skill, I imagine of effective and empathic listening and really listening to not just what someone says, but the tonality, you can probably pick up on how they're doing. And I'm guessing you would say if you hear someone else who's not doing well, then, hey, pause the conversation, check right. in on that person, have that and become a mentor in them. Right. Moment. So yeah. my colleague, uh, um, my friend, Christopher Littlefield, um, he actually came up with the concept of whenever you have a Zoom, ask people on a scale of one to 10, how are you doing? Right. One is terrible. I can't even get out of bed. I, I can't deal with another day of this. And 10 is fantastic, like truly fabulous. And have everyone at the start of the meeting put in a number. Anyone who has a seven or below, as a leader, you need to follow up with them after the meeting. Figure out what's going on. Is the homeschooling too much? Is being confined at home too much? Are they, you know, do they have to take care of elderly parents? Is there someone immunocompromised? Do they not have the bandwidth issues to deal with everything you know what is the issue but have that conversation but if you don't know to have that conversation then you're just guessing based on what you're making assumptions 